remember this, I'm sure, but in 1978, there was a serial killer named Ted Bundy who went on a rampage in Florida at the University in Tallahassee and he massacred two girls in a sorority house and he went into another girl's room to kill her. He had the weapon, the blood from the other girls on his hand on the knife. He barged into the room and all of a sudden a mysterious force repelled him from the room and the weapon was thrown out of his hand. Why? Well, the girl in that dorm that night had fallen asleep with a rosary in her hand. Before she went off to college, she said to her mother that I promise to pray the rosary every night before I go to bed as for protection. Well, that night, as often happens, if you try and leave it to the end of the day, you're going to fall asleep. She fell asleep. When the cops came, they saw the girl in a basically catatonic state. She was like paralyzed with fear. She said she didn't want to talk to anybody but a priest. They got a priest, a Monsignor came, and she told the priest that what she had told her mother about making that promise. Years later, when Ted Bundy was on death row, he asked to speak to a priest. Guess which priest came? <laughs> the same one and they had a little conversation and Ted Bundy said to him you know there's something I don't understand that last night that was the last killing that he did I had killed those two girls and I went into the other room and some force threw me out of the room and threw the weapon out of my hand can you explain that to me actually I can that's what the priest said he said I talked to that girl that night she had made a promise to pray the rosary and she had it in her hands you weren't aware of it but there was a power in those beads that threw you out of the room. This thing, my friends, has power. Saints of old would simply lay it on people who were possessed and demons would shriek out of them.